Hey, I'm Srini, the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. Are you tired of spending hours on writing and editing? In this video, we're gonna do a review of Type.ai, an AI writing tool designed to help you create content more efficiently. It has features that allow for quick document organization, real-time AI feedback, and effortless content generation. And Type.ai can significantly reduce the time it takes to produce polished writing. I'll show you how you can use it in crafting everything from blog posts to summaries while maintaining clarity and engagement. One of the main reasons I love Type.ai is because it's lightning fast. Before we dive into the video though, if you want to unlock the full potential of MEM and transform your scattered knowledge into actionable insights, click the link in the description below to book a free 15 minute call in which we can explore your specific challenges and develop a personalized strategy to enhance your productivity. Now let's get to the video. What I want to do in this video is go over another one of my favorite AI writing tools called type.ai. I know I've primarily done tutorials on MEM, but I wanted to show you another alternative that I think is really powerful and that I sometimes use for different purposes. So the first thing that we wanna do is actually create a draft of a document, but you'll see here that the interface is really simple. You have folders to be able to organize things. And then you can see the most recent documents. You can also search just like you would in any other note-taking app. So first let's create a new document. So you can see here that you have this document creation tab. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and post the outline that I came to came up with for this review and demonstration. So first let's go over some of the basics in terms of the formatting capabilities. So pretty much like most editing tools, you have the same sort of formatting capabilities. You can see here, you have bold, you can turn things into bulleted lists. You have the ability to indent, italicize, underline, strike through, and add hyperlinks to anything. So it's pretty standard in terms of the kinds of features that you have in any sort of document editor. But what makes type really powerful, I think more than anything, is its AI capabilities. And why I like type in terms of its AI capabilities is first it's lightning fast. It tends to produce really good results if you provide good prompts. And I've been pretty impressed. In fact, it's one of the things that I often do when I'm writing newsletters or blog posts. This is my final edit. I pretty much finish everything even if I'm writing in mem and I drop it in type.ai for one final pass so that it ends up being much more improved and it does some great improvements. The other thing I like about type.ai's AI features is that you have the ability to save your prompts. So if you have a custom prompt, you can actually save it and put it here. So you can see here that I have a couple of different prompts that I use on a regular basis. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to have it generate a 500 word blog post. So we're gonna just use the generate draft feature. So let's go ahead and grab this and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to bring up the AI commands feature here. And basically what I'm gonna do is say generate content. And then I'm going to tell it to write a 500 word blog post. And what you'll see here is that this comes up with this blog post in a pretty quick amount of time. It's faster than most of the other AI tools I've seen. So you can see here that it gave us a bunch of different tools here and it did a, a pretty good job of coming up with that pretty fast. So that's how you generate drafts. So now let's actually look at type.ai's chat feature, which basically exists alongside of the document. So while you're working in any document, the AI feature can actually interact with you about that document. So for example, if we wanted to, we could actually go over here and tell it to do something to the selected text. So for example, you could say, okay, make this sound funnier or something like that. So what I'm gonna do first is I am going to go ahead and tell it to do this and suggest five different productivity angles that we can use. And what you'll see is that it will actually come up with this for us. The other thing that's cool about this is that it allows you to replace the selected text in the editor. So you can see here that we now have all of the things that it came up with on the side, inside of the actual document that we're working on here. So the other thing we can do is we can ask it for feedback on any piece of writing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the prompt right here and I'm going to have it actually give me feedback on what is intentionally a really lousy paragraph that I'm going to try to have it make much more concise and more engaging. And so you can see here, it immediately came up with a revision and it did that. So what we can do is we can say, okay, this kind of isn't quite as short as I want it to be. And we can say, you, know, you make it more concise and punchy, which isn't exactly a great 
prompt, but it actually does does work. So you can see here it you know cut it down quite a bit. Now, what we also have the capability to do is to rewrite an existing piece of content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this prompt right here. I'll highlight this piece of text that is about Asana, and I'm going to tell it to rewrite this to make it more persuasive and engaging because this is a pretty bad paragraph in terms of what was actually here. It basically is a paragraph that's supposed to be about Asana, but actually has nothing to do with Asana. And you can see here that it actually does this, but this is actually not the greatest description either. So we can do one more revision and let's go ahead and rewrite this and say, okay, rewrite this and focus on features and benefits, benefits of Asana. And what it will do then is it will actually give us a revision. And you can see here that it actually gives us a pretty solid revision in terms of what it is. But the thing is that this is actually not about Asana. So we're going to give it one more time and say, okay, rewrite this. So it's actually about Asana, the task management tool. And I use better metaphors. And what it does is it gives us a more dynamic and much more extensive paragraph in terms of what we're working with. Finally, you have one other feature here that I really like, which is the content ideas feature. And if you go here, what you can see here is that it actually gives you the ability to add different suggestions. So what you could do is you could either say, copy it to the clip clipboard, or you can say, write it for me. What it will do is it will actually write those sections for you. So one of my favorite ways to use type is when I'm doing things like editing podcast transcripts or trying to summarize podcast transcripts or ex extract key insights from them. This tends to be really fast and it actually can deal with a large volume of text. So we can actually take this whole thing. And if we go back to our chat feature, we can say, okay, summarize everything in this document in one paragraph. And what it'll do is it'll give us basically a paragraph that gives us a summary. And so you can see here that we can just copy it and we can add it to the top of our document. So that in a nutshell is type.ai. I think the tool is fantastic. It costs about $29 a month. And I can tell you that after using it for about a week, when I ran into the document limit for the free trial, I immediately upgraded because I thought it was that good in terms of its ability to generate content and work quickly. So. If you haven't tried it out, I definitely recommend checking it out. I think it's fantastic. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.